Meghan Markle's film and TV beginnings. Now that Meghan and Harry have officially stepped back from their royal duties and are taking steps towards financial independence, we're likely to see Meghan return to her Hollywood roots. In fact, she wasted no time in securing her first gig as a non-senior royal. The Duchess of Sussex narrates the Disney nature documentary Elephant, which is now streaming on Disney+. Plus. But way before she met Prince Harry, Meghan had a wide-ranging acting career, appearing in music videos, commercials, TV movies, and the silver screen. Here's a look at some of Meghan's early acting work before she became a royal. In 2002, Markle's first on-screen credit came as a small guest role in General Hospital as Nurse Jill. She had exactly one line and totally nailed it. In just one second, I have his chart right here, Dr. Lambert. I don't see the notation anywhere. Fun fact, Megan's parents met on the set of the show, her mom as a makeup artist in training, and her father the show's lighting director. Like most actors cutting their teeth in the industry, Markle would take on work in commercials and game shows. For one of these gigs, she was a presenter on Deal or No Deal. Her first big screen moment was in a romantic comedy alongside Ashton Kutcher and A Lot Like Love. Her role is credited as Hot Girl. Hi. Proving to us once again, no role is too small. Megan continued to get bit roles that would highlight her physical appearance, like her role as the FedEx girl in Horrible Bosses. This one of those hidden camera shows? What do you mean? What I mean is like you're way too cute to be just a FedEx girl. I mean, you gotta be like a model or actress or something, right? Megan had been open about her struggles with typecasting and how her identity affects her acting journey. In a 2015 essay for Elle magazine, she wrote about how being biracial often worked against her in Hollywood. I wasn't black enough for the black roles, and I wasn't white enough for the white ones, leaving me somewhere in the middle as the ethnic chameleon who couldn't book a job. But all that changed when she got her big break playing Rachel on Suits, a character she would play for over 100 episodes. Megan described her role as the Goldilocks of my career, where finally I was just right. She won fans over as a smart, strong-willed, modern working woman. What I do know is that you need to get through your head that I'm a grown woman and that I'm not a damsel in distress that needs protecting. Megan has also starred as the lead in a few feel-good Hallmark movies, including her role as a big city journalist, Amy Peterson, in When Sparks Fly. I went after the wrong dream. I just didn't realize it. And, um, and I lost the person that I cared about the most and also as Cass, a successful businesswoman who isn't so successful with love in Dater's Handbook. The handbook was intended to weed out the wrong kind of man, not string multiple men along. Okay, but I, I'm not stringing them along. I'm just getting to know them better so that I don't make the wrong decision again. Whatever roles Megan ends up doing in the future, it will certainly be a long way from Nurse Jill.